Tron again. Okay, put out here ten dollars. Miscellaneous books, five bucks each. Yeah, those are handbooks. Uh, Instructograph. Oh yes, that's interesting. I mean, that's a FT-244 from the Sigma Corps, U.S. Army. Bendix radio. I have no idea what it is. <clears throat> oh, well, here we go with another free one, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a, a home brew of some kind. Right here. <laughs> it says free. Uh... Holy crud! That's got to be the biggest dynamotor I've ever seen! Look at the size of that thing! Holy crud! Take two men and a boy to lift it! Is that the same as the one that's out there? The yeah, pretty much looks like it. And it probably is for the ART-13 or something near that size. Wow. Isn't that what it is? Yeah. This is for a BC-645 right here. Huh. Wow. So we got stuff here. Something else. And there you are. Okay. No. Huh? That one there? Yeah, what is that? In fact, there's, there's another one over there for 10 bucks. It's been modified. I don't know. Okay, well, there you go. What's that? Huh. Right, here we go. Here we go with the cigar boxes again. Well, the USS Pampanito. Yeah. The who? The submarine. The submarine? It, it's it got some stuff in mounted in one of those racks. Oh, really? No kidding. That would be mounted in one of the racks. It was part of an SCR-522 SCR radio, ah. which is the VHF radio. Right. 100, 166, yeah. 6 watts. Go figure. And there's the old. We used to have these all the time. They're called they're insulators. bg and &E. One of these glass ones. Of course, I had the had a couple of the green ones. I don't know what happened to them. Look at all these. Huh? Nice speed through insulators. Three dollar glass insulators. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good for, I don't know what I haven't got any use for them now, but when you need them. When you need them, you, you need them. them. Yeah. You can never find them. You can never find them. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Now, why is this free? <laughs> Because it's a homemade something or other. I don't know. Some sort of homemade panel in the front of it. Look at this. Yeah, there you go. There's the instructor graph. There's the instructor graph. Paper tape, Morse code. Yeah. And so you see those in the old old pictures, those things running. <laughs> That's what they use for, yeah. my, uh, for my code oh, test. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Yeah. I had, the FCC. had to. They at the used. FCC, yeah. That's what they were using. Back in 60, 68, uh, 67, when I was there with you, too. At the time. They use that thing. Yeah. Go figure. Another piece of history there. Alright. There's your grab bag for you. Another a grab this box. This looks like a foam patch. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then you got some cool tubes. Ah. There's a handy dandy tube for you. TH, I think. Wow. Transmitting tube. And I think. This looks like an 813. Oh, no, no, no. This is something different. An 810. Hmm. An 810. That's an expensive tube, too. If it worked. And there's a 4 125 down below, which is. Resistance substitution box down there. I can see that. Another stuff. So, what's that? 40 bucks for the whole box? Mm -hmm. A little radio shack is the UR gauge. Probably another SDVR.
Okay, here we are again today. Uh, oh, I did another video earlier when I was over Ham and Hi-Fi. And uh, I don't know if you can see it or not in the background. My brother Ron's got his hands on the box I bought over there. He decided not to take a chance on it, but I did. So I'm going to go through this box and show you what's in it. Kind of surprised what I found in it. Uh, turns out actually there was even one transmitting tube that Ron uses in his T368 uh, transmitter. So I gave him one of those. It looked like it was in good shape, so he's going to test it out. But all these tubes that are in this box are not tested, nor is all the equipment that's in here. Uh, is it? Uh, it's not tested either. But quite a bit of stuff. Chubby, you're going to have to move because i got to get this box over here so I can start pulling stuff out. Yes, I, I mean, you're going to have to move. Don't look at me like that. I said you're going to have to move. Huh? What, you don't want me to move? Oh, on, let's see. Well, anyway, let me show you. This is the box. I picked up $40. Uh... Hopefully you can see that okay. It's pretty well packed. Uh, and I guess I'm just going to have to start laying stuff out. Um, this is a, uh, a small transmitting tube. Uh, this is a rather large 810 transmitting tube. Notice these are for the high voltage parts where it goes, the plate, and uh, try to figure out what that sucker's worth. Like I said, none of this stuff's been tested, so it's sort of like a, you do what you, do what you can with it. Now this is kind of unusual. This is a, a vacuum condenser made by IMAC. Notice it is kind of on the big side. There's my hands. Give you an idea for scale, but that's a vacuum condenser or capacitor, if you wish. In the old days, you'd call them condensers. Now, here's another interesting transmitting tube, and uh, made in the USA, yes, indeed, by iMac, and uh, it's a VT. It's a VT218. It's another transmitting tube. Like I said, none of this stuff's been tested, so I don't know. I have no idea. And this is an iMac 4E27. There are actually two of these. And these look to be in new condition. Not even tarnished anywhere. I have two of them. Oh, I found the other one here, too. Yep. I got a pair of them. Pair of 4027 transmitting tubes on eBay. You can find a pair of them that look worse than these, not even in new condition, and it's a buy it now price of $75. So, like I said, uh, these are probably worth quite a bit more. These are another transmitting tube. Uh, where we got here? And another one. Uh, Taylor. Taylor Jewels. And these are T40s. I think I have a third one. Yep. I got three of them. Okay. So, tubes are stacking up. Um, Boxes. Got two boxes this size. Now, I don't know if it's empty or if anything's in it. So I'm going to open it up. We're going to see it the first time what I do. Oh, yes. Well, guess what? Huh. It's another one of those. This is actually a. What is it? This is an 830B, is what it's called. Another transmitting tube. So, now this one was boxed. So, you can imagine, some of this stuff is something else. I mean, 
you buy this stuff and you don't know what you're going to get. It's just stuff's piling up. Uh, and here's another. Another 830B. Another one. Uh, so I got two of those in boxes. And what we got here? Oh, another box. Amazing. Um, and this, this is a variable speed control with with the instructions. It's all right there. Like I said, crazy. Forty bucks for the whole box. Okay, I'm still going. And this is a hybrid foam patch. I have chicken knobs for that. I can put on that. So. Don't really need them these days, but you never know. And, uh, oh, my goodness, I found another, another hidden tube. Another one. It's another iMac. It's a 4-65A. a small transmitting tube. And, resistance substitution bridge. I'm sitting in there. I'm running out of room. Uh, his book was sitting in there. Instruction book on the Z80. That's uh, one of the old, very first computers that came out. Uh, all right, what is this? Heathkit assembly manual for what? A tunnel dipper. Well, I had one, but I never had a manual for it. But then on top of that, I opened this thing up today. And take a look. It's got one, plus all the coils. It's all there. And now you can have a manual, so I can use even use for using the other one. Go figure. Stuff to keep piling up. I'm gonna have to move this box out of the way. That's why I got room. And what else we got in there? Oh, let's see. Uh, a calibrator. Uh, not just one. One. Two. Oh, look. I got three of them. Three calibrators. Uh, oh, that's what I have. Well, I have something else here. I have a Micronta Field Strength SWVR tester. That was it. Plus some cables. Oh, and also. I got a microphone in there, so wrapped in plastic, all together. So, it looks like another patch cable for a heat kit, also, plus uh, some coax and the wire. So, yeah, for $40, yeah, I don't think I could match that anywhere for all this stuff. Look at this. So that's where all the stuff was in the box. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Go figure. So anyhow, there you are. That's what I got today. And uh, see you guys later.